hello guys in today's video i'm going to give a little twist and i believe that it's going to be very exciting now let's go right into it around 6 p.m or some few minutes after 6 i was um just watching the news and on tv3 that's uh, one of the subsidiaries of media general yeah i noticed that one of the broadcast journalists i love so much mr alfred okansi yeah was um doing a broadcast and I noticed something very um, off about his appearance. And you know, I'm usually poker in fashion police. I'm usually going around looking for some errors, not to chastise them or criticize them per se, but because I am all about quality and standards. Anytime I see something that is not appropriate, my eyes really get to it. I'm sure you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Okay, so... When I saw it, I was like, wow, what happened? What were the producers doing? You know, they are in, in, in um, let's say, media production. They are directors, they are producers, and all of that. So I was wondering, ah, I've been watching the news, I mean, Times Without Number on TV3, and I've not really seen something like this. There are times where you see some of the journalists or the presenters not wearing something very um, nice or something that has a good visual appeal but you know some of them pay attention to standards some also do not pay attention to standards and it could be as a result of maybe they're not having someone who would check that before they come on set okay so i want to just take a look at the appearance and give you a critique before i come in okay so look at this uh look at this image oh no I'm very sure the same reaction that I'm having. I'm just, you know, um, um, broadcasting my reaction aloud, you know. And I believe that that's the same reaction that you're also having. So what went wrong? How did we get here? Okay. Wow. So after some few minutes, I really knew that TV3 would do something about it. And I was very happy. Because after some few minutes... You see, if you are not very um, um, particular about some of these things, you wouldn't notice it. Because I noticed that they went for a quick commercial break. And usually when they are giving news or something, they don't really go on commercial breaks, you know, in the middle of it. And it's a business-focused um, presentation. As I said earlier, I really love him so much. And I like how he presents his fact. And I like how he interviews people and how, you know, he goes about his journalism. Okay, yeah, so... Just some few minutes, or should I say seconds later after seeing that, they rectified it. Yes. Now let's look at the picture after the ratification. Good. So that's a round of applause for TV3. Okay, Media General for you know doing a due diligence to correct this because it doesn't give a it doesn't give a good visual appeal. You see, how you appear will show how we are gonna accept you. So you'll be surprised that though I, mean, I like what he's saying, I was really looking at his appearance and I was like, no, 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 no. And when that happens, it will take my attention off his presentation to his appearance, which is not good. Okay, so all that period of his presentation, as it stands now, as, as I'm doing this broadcast, it's around 6.28 p.m. Okay, and he started presenting... In the early hours of six, that's about um, six, um, five, there about. That's when I noticed the error. Do you get it? So just look at 28 minutes or 25 minutes. And I'm still paying attention to his appearance and not his presentation. That would be, that, that wouldn't be good. And that wouldn't be also a good thing for their brand. So I want to congratulate all the directors and the producers of the business focus that Alfredo can see. Was just doing and they're actually talking about the new domestic debt exchange you know and the uh, pensioners describe inclusion as irregular you know yeah so and they're actually having a, a, an interview with one, one doctor yeah so you can actually check it out you can go on their social media platforms and and you know do a recap if you really missed it all right so guys thank you very much and you know before i end there's a way to prevent this you see sometimes you might not have the eyes to even see some of the errors, okay? Yeah. And no man is a repository of knowledge. 
You see, but there's some things that are non-negotiable. You get it, but we all make mistakes. I've actually made that mistake before. One day I took a picture at the beach side, a very nice photo. All right. And I was very sad when I go home. And I noticed that the same thing that happened to Afro Kansi today had actually happened to me. I was very sad. I'm like, wow. Actually, the photographer was somehow was having an iPhone, okay? Yeah. One of my um one one lady who also came for the wedding. And she, probably she didn't know. So she didn't even correct me or tell me that, oh Pratt, I believe you should check your um your collar. Okay, yeah, off the suit or the jacket. She didn't correct me. So I actually took the picture and I was happy. I later realized that it was not something that was giving a good reflection of myself. So I, I took the picture, picture down. I didn't like to post it. Do you get it? Yeah. So the only way to prevent this is to always check. You can use your phone as a your phone camera, front camera to check whether the color is really on point before you take any photo. Or if you are home before you step out, look um look into the mirror. Okay, or look up yourself in the mirror and see whether you are actually doing the right thing or not. What account for this usually is when we take off the jacket and later put it on when we are outside because in my case i took the jacket off and i took the picture okay with just my um, shirt and the tie you understand yeah because i wanted people to also see my my sleeve gutter as a means of advertisement so after i wanted to wear the jacket on okay to also take another photograph do you understand so, so people see the button and then the pocket square but when I put it on, I forgot to check the color. It's like wearing a shirt. Anytime you wear a shirt, you put the color, you know, you let the color relax on your shoulders. But this is a case that didn't do that. And it happens when you take your jacket off outside and also you put it on after a few, I mean, moments to take a picture. It happens. So let's kindly bear in mind and let's not repeat this. Okay, yeah. It is very, this is a very good historical fact because that was my history. And in the few history is it's always passing, you know, and we just noticed what happened to Alfredo Khan. So that is history. So we can learn from someone's mistakes so that we don't repeat them. Thank you very much and see you in my next video. Bye bye.